All right, guys, now I'm making the pivot of the brake, and I've been looking around, and I can't seem to find the video that I did on building the brake for the Batmobile. So, um, yeah, Teddy's exploring the Batmobile. So I thought I'd better show it in this video. Okay, first things come first. All right, now in the last video that I showed putting on this extra bracing, some of you were saying that I should put in a bar going from here up to here. Well, that would work on this side. Okay, that would work on this side. But over on this side, excusing the, uh, the cable there, or the line, it wouldn't work because the caliper gets in the way. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and get some 3 16 uh, flat stock, two inches wide, and then cut it to length to match this up to here and then angle it in and then match it up to here. So I'll be able to have a piece, well, not like this, but you know, a piece running up and down all the way the whole length of, of, the, of the rear end here. Uh, that should work. That should still give it enough strength if I weld it on there. So, um, but putting a bar going from here up to here isn't going to work, so I'm not going to do it. Here's the pivot. I stuck this bar on here to so I can actually actuate it without a pedal on there. And so what I did is I made the plate that mounts the master cylinder in there. And that was a little difficult because I had clearance issues with this, uh, with the line. And now I've got clearance issues with this nut and the bolt that goes in there. So I'm gonna have to tighten it on one side and have a wrench down inside there to tighten this up. Uh, but it comes down and what I I don't know, hopefully you guys can see this. I have a piece of DOM tubing right here. I, have, I cut another piece of DOM tubing slightly longer. And then I put on a piece from the center all the way down to this point. That's four inches. So technically I cut this at like, uh, oh God, what is it? I think five inches and I came in a half inch came in another half inch, drilled the hole there, drilled the hole here, so that way this is four inches. This smaller piece right here from the center out to this connection is two inches. So I've got a doubled leverage. I doubled my leverage right there. And had to then I just took this DOM, I slid the other piece of DOM in there welded this on and welded this bar this arm on and I tacked this bar on here just so that way I could articulate it without having a pedal on so I could line up my arc like that then I built built this uh, uh let me see if I can get this out of here <laughs> I know I couldn't take it out with one hand Okay, so I built up this clevis here, and that's just out of uh, the same type of uh, quarter inch flat stock, one inch that this that the arms are made out of. And line up the holes, put another piece in the middle there, cut out a notch, then weld it in this round bar. This is solid three eighths, I believe. So. Then I'll be putting that in like that and putting the bolt in there. And then it'll articulate when I push on the pedal and push in the plunger for the master cylinder. So the next plan of attack is to install the pedals. Now the pedals that I have are the exact ones that went for the giveaway by Go Power Sports. And I've been looking at these 
and comparing them to my foot and I don't know if I should put these in here like this because I would have to I don't know I think what I might do is I might build some pedals and then use these on Cody's go-kart because I told you I have to hack his go-kart up because he's getting too big for it and these I was looking you know I was comparing them on with his feet the other day and these would work better for him so I think what I'll probably do is just I'll probably build some pedals for this and because then I can put my lever system where I want it to go uh, and then I can connect my rods I can design an entire setup up here on how I want my stuff to work um, Cody's go-karts already were literally set up to use these type of things anyways so I'll probably just leave these for his go-kart yeah something else since Halloween is coming thought you guys might get a kick out of this what we did is we took some pieces of paper five pieces of paper taped the paper down onto this uh, board then what we did is after we put the paper down and taped the paper down then we grabbed some plasti wrap taped that down and or at well first I drew out the the pattern on the paper then put the plasti wrap down on there and then grab some of this foam this Crete stuff you can t pick it up uh, at most hardware stores and uh, start squirting it around and now see we got two bones here we have a rib cage and this here is like guts of an in, uh, of intestines it's gonna go underneath here and then so is this this here will probably be glued, hot glued or something like that on top of that. And then we've got some arm bones right here that will go up over your arms. But now we just got to figure out how we're going to attach it to the fabric. And uh, I don't know if Cody wants to go as a, like a zombie or what he's going to want to go as. So uh, if not, then we can just use these as like, uh, I don't know. Uh, make up some display or something like that. I've been thinking about setting up a little cemetery out in the middle of the uh, track and then putting like spooky lights and stuff like that and you know we'll have to build some tombstones and all that kind of stuff you know I think that'd be kind of neat to do out in in the track area so uh, put some light on it and uh, stuff like that for Halloween I don't know but I thought that was kind of neat it's really real simple idea I don't know how well this stuff is going to hold once we peel it apart. It'll probably just break apart, maybe. I don't know. And, oh, jeez. What? No way. Oh, okay. Wow, that turned out really nice. Gee, you can shoot a little bit of spray paint on that and let it dry out in the sun. <laughs> it would look like bone. Yeah. Oh, see? You can see the little line that I drew? And I just took this stuff and filled it up in the middle and then step back. You have to do it thin because this stuff expands. So you just do a little thin line and yeah. I thought that was kind of neat. But anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh, one more thing. I took some pictures of this clevis and the pivot and everything like that. So if you want to add it to your library on your computer, you can go over to the two you can go over to <coughs> my website, the link's down in the description. You'll see this video and then below this video, you'll find um, the pictures and you can just right click on them and then save to your computer. So you'll have my setup right here pictures of it in your computer so all right guys i'll see you later bye bye